Hi honey! I got my catchphrase, right? I've been looking for something to like start my videos with and I've like tried so many different cringy ones and I think hi honey is pretty nice. Anyway, today we are doing where to buy makeup in Mombasa. So there's one shop where I went to physically. online shops. So yeah, I've got some awesome things to review for you guys and I did this look using all the makeup I've got and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and follow me on all my other social media. I'll leave the actual link to go to my Instagram or go to my Facebook or go to my Snapchat in the description box. So be sure to check it out. So the first thing we're using is the blackhead mask. This is from ZK Collections. Now this is an, an acne purifying peel off black mask. This uh, mask is from ZK Collections and they sell all kinds of stuff, so not just makeup. They sell like um, shoes and handbags and clothes and they also do like direct orders. So if you specifically want something, then you order from them. They deliver within town in Mombasa and they also send parcels to Nairobi and other parts of Kenya. They also have a Facebook page by the same name ZK Collections and you can make your orders straight through um, the Facebook DMs or Instagram DMs. And now we just need to wait for this to dry. Okay, now we're dry and we can start peeling this off. So you also want to start from the bottom up. This one actually doesn't hurt at all. Hmm. It didn't hurt as much as my other ones, but I also feel like it didn't pull as much as the other ones, that's why it didn't hurt. Pretty good too, because the other one hurts a lot. And what you have to do after you use the black mask, especially any peeling mask, you have to moisturize your face afterwards. Okay, so since I don't have any eyebrow products to show you, so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera. Okay, I know they look very bold, I know there's, um, a white line around my eyebrows but it's okay because I'm doing a very bold eye look so I need the bold eyebrows to match so, and also from ZK collections where I got the blackhead mask I also got a silicone sponge a bone to glow liquid illuminator by NYX but now I'm going to head on over to another shop which I got stuff from with makeup and glow I'm using their mist and fix spray because I like to spray myself before and after makeup since I have really dry skin I just need to open it. This is actually kind of a first impressions video also. So let's see. Okay. Spray is strong. Like, look at that. If you do it from quite far away, the, the end that hits you is like a sp nice spritz. I like this. Kinda, it's kind of tacky. Next thing I'm going to use also from Makeup and Glow and also from Forever 52 is the elixir so you're supposed to put on your skin before makeup it is quite watery but you can probably dry down super tacky oh but i like it it's moisturizing mm, this feels really nice my skin is really moisturized and it's dried down very like sticky it's a good thing because now when i put on my foundation the foundation has something to stick to moving on and now i really look crazy the only eyeshadow i got was from asmini beauty i love the range of products that asmini beauty has i could get a lot of different brands and a lot of different things so from brushes to eyeshadows to lipsticks as well and if you go on their instagram page you'll find a lot of other products that they sell she has a huge collection of like really cool products so they change their stock on a regular basis so you might not find the same things on their page all the time so i'm going in with this wet and wild black eyeshadow in panther 255d now because it is a black shadow I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in 601 Black Bean. 
And to be fair, I do this with all black eyeshadows. I love to put like the black NYX base just to make it super, super black. And I'm making sure to clean up those edges. You can see the difference after I've cleaned it up. But right now we're moving on to the next amazing shop. So for foundation, I'm using this MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, which is, has SPF 15, which is awesome. And this is from Wahedas, which you can also find on Instagram. You can also text her directly. And people in Mombasa can come pick up their orders from Wahedas house. Customers from Nairobi or Tanzania get sent their parcels for 350 shilling charge. And from Wahedas, I got the MAC foundation and I also got the Studio Fix Powder Plus foundation. So let's just dot this on. She has a huge range of products as well. She had the Baby Skin Primer, she had uh, Maybelline, L'Oreal, Max Factor. She had a huge range of products and she also had the MAC highlighters which I showed you guys on Snapchat. I was really jazzed when I saw the MAC highlights. I was like, in Mombasa, are you for real? So I'm going to be using the ZK Collection Silicone Blender. This is not like obviously the normal blender where you have to wet it. It's just, you know, wiggly. Okay, so I clearly picked a color that is way too light for me. But once I put on the contour and blush and everything, I'm pretty sure it'll warm up my face a bit more. So I'm going to back to Makeup and Glow and I'm using this Black Opal All Over Concealer. So let's see if these make a good contour stick. It is really, really nice and creamy and I like the tip. I don't even normally contour my nose, but because this has such a nice precise point, I just will. I'm just taking this Zoeva face shape brush. It's a Real Techniques contour brush. I'm gonna scrunch it up and just blend this out. I wanna take this brush which I used to put concealer on my eyes. It still has a bit of concealer left. And I'm literally just gonna lighten that up a bit because it's a bit too dark for my nose. Okay, so now we have that done. I think this out of a 10 is easily a, easily a 10. I couldn't think of anything to take points off for. But I want to try out this basic contour kit by Just Gold that I got from Makeup and Glow. Okay, so you have three powders over here. Then you have one, two concealer shades two medium brown shades and then two dark shades. So you have a lot of different um, options with this palette. Yellow, um, you can always use that for under your eyes to really brighten up your eyes. And the green, you use that to color correct red pimples like the one on my chin. And then orange corrector is the one you use if you have like a four o'clock shadow maybe, you have dark circles under your eyes, you have any dark spots anywhere on your face, you can use that. We'll use this e.l.f. blending brush that I got from Asmini Beauty. And I'm gonna use that to get this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and correct with this orange color. See, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I'd like this. It seems really affordable, you get a lot of products in here. Especially if you're a makeup artist, it could be really helpful for you for dealing with different skin tones. There, honestly, it's like such a subtle orange that is still correct, but you don't need such a heavy foundation to cover it up. I'm, I'm surprised, like damn girl, okay. And I think I'm gonna go for this concealer right here. And now to blend. And for the blending brush, out of 10 beads, I think I'd give it a five. Not because it didn't put on my concealer pretty nicely, but because it's meant to be a blending brush and I would never really use this to blend my eyeshadow because it's so tightly packed and it's not that fluffy. I think out of 10 beads, I'd give this a strong nine. And I'm just taking off points because the packaging is a bit flimsy and cheating, but for the actual product inside and for the price, Good things, good things. Okay, I don't want this video to get too long, so I went ahead and finished up my eye makeup from the bottom, the highlight. I did get this highlight, the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, but unfortunately, it's way too dark for me. It's one of the downsides of 
ordering online. I guess I could use this when I'm really, really tan. So I'm going back to Waheda's shop where I got the MAC. I'll be using my Zoeva 106 powder brush. Now I'm going in with the Tartus Lash Paint Mascara. And this one is from Quality Collection. And you can collect your things that you order from her at TSS. And oh my god, this mascara is amazing. She orders her stuff from Malaysia, so it takes about three weeks for you to get your order. And you need to put down a 1,000 shilling deposit. And this mascara has got me shook. So I have three lip products to choose from. And these two are from Asmini Beauty. And this one is from Makeup and Glow. It is, ooh, it's so creamy and nice. But NYX lip liners are awesome. This is red. So then we have this ColourPop, which is also a red. And then there's this MAC one from Makeup and Glow, which is a matte liquid lipstick. It's a beautiful color as well. I love that color. Hmm, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? I use both. I use this one, this one. I think out of 10 stars, I'd give this an 8 because it's quite drying. Then out of 10, I think I'd give this a 9. I don't even know what I'm putting on points for. 10 because I love the packaging. Um, I love the way it rolls up. You get a lot of product in here. Look at all that product. That's mad. Colourpop is crazy awesome. Oh my god, the sun is totally gone. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and learned about a few more shops that you can get some makeup in in Mombasa. Thank you so much for watching and bye! And don't forget to subscribe.